So all of us know 2020 has been an incredibly unprecedented year. There's been so many intense things that have happened to so many of us. It's been a year full of powerful experiences that have, for many of us, radically changed our lives. And so I wanted to invite you this year to a New Year's rite of passage. This is something that I've done for many years, but this year I think it's more needed than ever before because it gives us an opportunity to deeply, experientially make a shift from the past to the future, to review and reflect and release and let go of what has come before, gaining and gleaning the wisdom and discovering sometimes for the first time what was actually the gift of that experience, and then taking the time to tune into what's actually ripe and ready to emerge from inside of us. Because inside of every single one of us is something that is forming in this time, that's gestating, that's being brought forth, not from the past, but from the future. And if we take this time, we can tap into that through creative right brain, whole brain modalities. So it's one thing to understand it intellectually and reflect about it, and that's helpful. But it's very different to experience it through art and creativity, through movement, through very specific, powerful processes that help us to receive knowledge that comes from beyond the conscious mind, that comes from greater sources of inspiration within us. And so I invite you to join me for this New Year's Rite of Passage. Take a look. You'll see more information about it on the website. I hope you can join us because it will be a way for all of us together to collectively and powerfully shift from what we've been through behind us as a radical, life-altering year, 2020, into something that has been trying to come forth for perhaps a very long time and has more opportunity to come forth now than it ever has before. There's a powerful saying, when everything changes, change everything. There's an opportunity in a time of radical tumult and change and everything moving and shifting. It allows us actually to make the kinds of deep inner changes that we've been needing and wanting and longing to make for a very long time. We can take that journey now we can find the inner compass inside of us that knows where we're going, and we can enter into a slipstream that carries us to the future that's ripe and ready for us. Hope you'll join me. Thank you.